Google wants to better label your email. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Google has redesigned Gmail both for the web as well as its Android and iOS Gmail apps. Now there are new categories and tabs to organize emails. The tabs are labeled primary, which is your main inbox, social, which are emails about social media, promotions, those are your daily deal emails and other shopping offers, and there's also a tab for updates with things like bills and receipts. And if you drag and drop messages into these tabs, Google will automatically learn how you want similar messages to be filtered. It's basically more touch friendly for the increase of tablets and touchscreen PCs. The app updates are available now and it's rolling out over the web in a few weeks, but you can switch off the tabs if you don't like them. And that's not the only Google update. The Google Plus app on the iPhone now has the option to automatically enhance the look of your pictures and users can edit comments. Android got this update last week. When you log into different apps or websites, you often have the choice to log in with Facebook or with Twitter. Now you can log in with your Amazon account. The first sites to offer this are Zappos and Woot, which are both owned by Amazon. But expect more outside websites and apps to add Amazon as a sign-in option over time. Amazon's also expanding its video offerings to compete with Netflix. Amazon announced it will produce five original television shows for prime instant video subscribers. There will be two comedies, Alpha House and Betas, and three kids shows. They will begin to air by the end of the year. Dish is hoping to make its television service more alluring with a new social twist. Those with a Hopper HD DVR can download a social app that will show Twitter posts related to the show you're watching, as well as the ability to post to Facebook with a conveniently pre-written status update in case you couldn't just write one yourself from your phone. My dear BlackBerry keyboard fanatics, in just a week on June 5th, you can get your fingers on the BlackBerry Q10 at T-Mobile for $100 down. T-Mobile is the first U.S. carrier to specify when this keyboard model would be available. It's been a test of patience for BlackBerry fans since the Q10 was unveiled about four months ago without a U.S. launch date. The Q10's keys are about 30% bigger than the BlackBerry Bold keys, so that should make for more comfortable typing for those who crave physical buttons. It's it's also coming soon to AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon is going to sell a special white version. You can read up on more details in our full review on CNET. That's your tech news update. You can get details on these stories at CNET.com slash update, and you can stay updated by following along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.